Today, I just wanted to show you a really quick way for you to wrap your cables. So why are we talking about cables? Well, we did a couple of other videos on how you can repair the pedal cable, how you can repair your XLR cables. But the thing is, and the fact of the matter is, is that you probably aren't gonna have to do those repairs if you take preventative measures in making sure that the cables aren't pulled or tugged or any of those things. So today we're just gonna have a really quick look at how I wrap my cables to make sure that they last as long as they can so it doesn't uh, pull or strain any of the thin copper wiring that may be on the inside. Hey, and if uh, this video is gonna help you in any way on how you can help take care of your equipment, uh, please hit the like button and the subscribe and notification bell to get notified of any future videos. And let's dive in. Basically, there's a, a right way and a wrong way to wrap your cables. And you may have seen, you know, guys at the at the show, maybe some of the sound techs or whatever that were setting up your mix or setting up your instrument cables or maybe tearing things down at the end of the night and you see them wrapping things kind of strangely. You're thinking to yourself, why would you wrap them that way? That seems like a lot of extra work. Well, the reason being is because it actually saves your cables getting pulled on or anything like that. So, you know, it's a, it's a really preventative maintenance way for you to make sure that you get your cables to last the longest that they can. And then you won't have to worry about watching my other videos on how you can repair an XLR cable or a pedal cable. So uh, let's go and grab a cable over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a, just a standard instrument cable here. So here's the cable. Okay, now the point that we wanna make here is that when you're wrapping the cable, you want the rubber not to get twisted or, or strained and wrapped up in a certain way. You might have seen maybe over the course of the years, uh, somebody who maybe wraps their cable like over their arm, they go like this and they wrap the cable like that really tight and then they pull it out. But the problem with that is that once once you start doing that over and over, it actually starts straining all of the cable that's on the inside. And then eventually you end up with a cable that's all twisted and you can see all the rubber is twisted and matted and everything. And eventually it starts to break away from the tips. And that's because the rubber is being pulled and pulled and pulled uh, and having tension against it for all those times that you've wrapped it around your arm or you know just in a circle like this. I'm just going to show you what I mean here. I'm going to drop it on the floor. Okay, this is a cable that I had already. This is a cable I already wrapped. So we'll leave it there. And I'm just going to walk it across the floor. Okay, and you can see as I'm doing that, it pretty much just went in a straight line. Okay, and then you can grab the other end of the cable and just pull it up. And if you notice that, you see how it's just gotten itself <clears throat> in a nice straight line. And it's not twisted, it's not pulling or anything like that. So how do we get it that way? I'm just gonna wrap the cable up now. So I'm gonna just take the cable here. And I'm just gonna hold it between my, my index finger and my thumb, okay? I'm just gonna grab it like this. And I'm just gonna give it a twist. Okay, so I'm, I'm pinching it with my index and my thumb here, and I'm also pinching it with my index finger and my thumb here, okay? So when I pull it out, I'm gonna go like this, and you see how it just kind of naturally made a loop on its own? That's the, ru that's the rubber on the outside, because it's one piece of rubber all the way through, and it's not, it, it likes to be in the same way that it was manufactured. So you just give it a twist, okay? And then grab it like this, okay? And then grab another length, okay? And this time you're going to pinch it again, but you're gonna like, almost like you're strumming a guitar, okay? So the motion is, as you're pinching it and holding it in place, push it down, and move your wrist kind of out, okay? So again, pinch it down, here it is, like you're strumming a guitar. Move it down, 
and your Pete Townsend and who? Pinball Wizard, okay? So now you see it, it went kind of underneath itself and you're gonna think, well, how is that gonna unfold easily? Trust me, it just does, okay? So now you grab it again, grab another length, twist over top, okay? Grab another length, strum the guitar underneath, okay? Pull over top, pull underneath, pull over top, pull underneath, okay? So now you've got this cable here, and again, I'll show you what it does. Okay, so we'll just set her down there, and again, as you're pulling it, okay, you can see it just unwinding all by itself, and it's got a straight line here. And then on the other side, you can grab it, and you see how, and plug it into whatever you're plugging it in. Nice and easy. I hope this video has helped you um, on taking care of your cables. Uh, if it did, hit the like button at the bottom and hit the subscribe and notification bell as well. And that'll notify you of any other videos that we have helping you with mobile recording, uh, home studio recording, and little tips and tricks like this on how you can take care of your gear. Cause you know what? We're not getting a whole bunch of stuff sent to us from uh, big manufacturers or anything. So we got to look after our equipment so that we're not wasting all of our money replacing this, this gear and equipment. So again, uh, thanks for being here and uh, keep making music.